If you're unsatisfied with the existing supplement options for bloating and irritable bowel syndrome, you're in the right place because in this video, we're going to discuss a new option that you probably haven't heard of before. What's up and welcome to the video. I'm Dr. Daniel Ricciardi, gut health expert, licensed pharmacist, fitness enthusiast, and creator of SIBO Shortcut. In this video, I'm going to discuss a new combination of herbal natural ingredients that you should consider not only for bloating, but a variety of digestive symptoms. The main ingredient is a special type of starch called xyloglucan, and this comes from the seeds of a tamarind plant. Xyloglucan is also complemented by pea protein powder in these supplements to provide the benefits that we're going to discuss later on in this video. But for right now, a little bit of a spoiler, there will be a massive announcement at the end of this video. I'd recommend watching till the end first, but if you want to see more, you can click over here and learn more. As I mentioned, the main ingredient that I'm going to talk about in this study is xyloglucan. A little bit about how these ingredients work together. Xyloglucan has been shown to act as a physical barrier thanks to its mucin-like molecular structure and optimal mucoadhesive properties. In fact, xyloglucan has been shown to be able to protect the integrity of mucosal cells from various damaging agents such as microorganisms, allergens, and pro-inflammatory compounds. Moreover, xyloglucan and pea protein have shown to synergistically create a protective mechanical barrier over intestinal epithelial cells that improves the architecture of intestinal tissues, restores the physiological barrier properties of the epithelia and prevents adhesion and proliferation of gas producing coliforms. So basically this is saying a few things. Number one, xyloglucan and pea protein can help prevent inflammation by forming a protective barrier over the intestinal tissue. It may be responsible for reducing leaky gut as well as the growth of potentially harmful bacteria in the intestine in areas we don't want them. All right, now that we have a little bit better understanding of how exactly these ingredients work together and what they do, let's look at some of the studies. This 2023 study by the Journal of Digestive Diseases and Science compared xyloglucan and pea protein versus semethicone, which is the active ingredient in GASX, and looking at patients with abdominal distension and also functional abdominal bloating, which basically means you feel bloated, but you can't necessarily tell if you're looking at the person that they're bloated. So it's more of a subjective feeling bloating that that person has. In the study, these ingredients were used three times daily for 20 days. The results found at day 20, xyloglucan and pea protein drastically reduced abdominal girth when compared with semethicone with an average reduction of 4.7 centimeters versus 1.8 centimeters. This is measuring around the abdomen. And then it goes on to say at day 20, xyloglucan and pea protein also showed significant reduction in hydrogen breath testing compared to baseline. So this is talking about breath testing for SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. As you can see the numbers on the chart here with xyloglucan and pea protein on the left and then the semethicone, which is the gas X on the right, there's a respectable decrease in hydrogen breath test from beginning to end for xyloglucan and pea protein. It looks like it went from 22 down to about 14. So this isn't a drastic, crazy improvement by any means, but I would say it is notable. Whereas for the semethicone, on the other hand, it looks like it went from 21 down to 19 parts per million. So can't really say the same thing on the semethicone, which is gas X. Lastly, a note on the study, no adverse events or serious unexpected adverse reactions were reported during the study. So this points to the safety of xyloglucan and pea protein together. On to the next study, study number two, this 2020 21 study by Therapeutic Advances in Gastroenterology Journal looked at xyloglucan and pea protein in patients with diarrhea predominant IBS. 50 patients took these ingredients twice daily for six months. So a long-term study, the results are right here. So this IBS SSS score that you're looking at here, it's a self-assessment of various IBS symptoms, specifically severity and frequency of abdominal pain, severity of abdominal distension, dissatisfaction with bowel habits, and interference over the past 10 days, or basically just how trouble some of these symptoms were for that person. From baseline down to six months, you can see the score decreased from 312 to 192 on average. This IBS SSS score ranges from zero, meaning you have literally no symptoms whatsoever, to 500, which is you can't imagine your symptoms being any worse. So going from an average of 312 to 192 is a pretty significant improvement. Now on the right of this chart, looking at the diarrhea score, patients rank their symptoms from zero, meaning you have no diarrhea, to 100, meaning it's the worst diarrhea you possibly could have. It looks like patients went down from a, about a 46 to a 25. And it looks 
like they got most of the benefit right away, right in the first month. So according to this study, number two, xyloglucan and pea protein seem to help with IBS symptoms that are self-reported and also diarrhea, even when using long-term. And then finally here, last of note, it mentions adverse effects were mild and mostly not related to treatment. Moving on to study number three. This study published by the British Medical Journal in June 2024 investigated xyloglucan, pea protein powder, and chia seed powder for people with IBS with constipation. This was the first study of this type because the previous studies that were looking at xyloglucan and pea protein were looking at IBS, but more so with diarrhea and investigating its potential benefit with constipation hadn't been looked at before. 60 patients were in the study. They were broken into group A and group B. The total length of time for the study was 84 days. Group A started with 28 days of pea protein powder, xyloglucan, and chia seeds, followed by 28 days of nothing, aka a washout period, and then final 28 days, they used a placebo. Group B did the same exact thing, but in reverse order. It did placebo, washout, and then the xyloglucan. The results showed that significant reduction in discomfort, abdominal pain, and bloating were observed at the end of both periods one and two compared to placebo. It goes on to say the test formula was superior to the placebo in resolving constipation as rated by the Bristol stool form scale. And then it says all patients reported constipation at the baseline. And then taking the test formula, which is the xyloglucan formula, reported normal stools at the end of period one on day 28, while those in the placebo group showed no improvement. And then lastly, it goes on to say serum zonulin, a biomarker of intestinal permeability, which is leaky gut, was significantly reduced by the test formula on days 28 and 84. Basically, the times after taking xyloglucan, this marker was reduced, suggesting a potential restoration of intestinal permeability. So per the study, this xyloglucan, pea protein, chia seed mixture seemed to help with abdominal pain, bloating, discomfort, constipation, as well as possibly helping with leaky gut. And then lastly of note, no serious adverse events or allergic reactions were reported during the study period. There's a couple other studies looking at these ingredients as well, such as this 2015 study from Biomed Central Gastroenterology and this 2018 study by International Journal of Molecular Sciences, which also support the use of xyloglucan and pea protein. Basically, every study that I've found has shown that these ingredients used in combination has positive benefits. I haven't seen any negative data yet or even any data that's neutral that suggests that they don't do anything. That's it for the studies. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, my brand new bloating supplement, Bloat Blocker, is now officially on the market. It's been a long time in the works and I'm super excited to be announcing it here for the first time. It contains this xyloglucan from tamarind seed powder and pea protein in very thoughtfully planned out quantities. And I'm very proud to say that it is the very first dietary supplement offering these powerful but safe ingredients. And more importantly, I'm just happy that there's another option on the market for people dealing with bloating, dealing with digestive symptoms that have tried everything else and still haven't gotten any results or feel better. If you want to check it out, click bloat blocker in the pinned comments below or just go to the website Blue Orchard Wellness, which is the name of the company right here on the screen. That is all for today. If you found the video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel for more related content. And since you watched till the end, check out this video right here next to learn more about Blow Blocker. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.